Hello, I'm Jeff Hannon, uh, Eastern District Manager for Engineered Systems, and today we're at the Gorman Rupp facility in Mansfield, Ohio, actually in the Engineered Systems demonstration area, where today we're going to be looking at our priming tower. It's one of the uh, units that we have that we can run through some different scenarios from field applications and, and use, do some troubleshooting. Um, basically what we have for setup is we have a T3 uh, pump, a 3 inch Super T-Series pump by Gorman Rupp mounted about 15 feet above a uh, open tank of water. Uh, we've got a suction line that's got glass piping and we've got some blue colored water so we can see the uh, suction line is full right now. And also on the suction side we've removed the uh, suction flat valve. Uh, so we've got a straight end suction. There's no check valves on the suction side to hold the water. And then on the discharge side, our piping uh, has no discharge check valve and no plug valve in the discharge line. We removed a section of pipe and installed a fire hose uh, so that we can see how violently or quickly uh, the water fills that hose when we're looking at the different types of starters uh, that we're using today. Then our discharge line comes back down uh, to the tank and I've got three different areas that I can uh, pump the water. I can let the water recirculate back to the tank. I can pump the water through the wall to a separate holding area so I can lower the level in the tank. And then I've also got a discharge line that uh, allows me to discharge directly onto the suction inlet of our, our uh, suction line. We're using a 15 horsepower motor. Um, with, the, uh, with our pump and we're running at about 1650 RPM uh, pump speed for most of the demonstration. The uh, first scenario we want to look at is using the across the line starter uh, to run the pump. And again, this is going to be a full on and a full off situation. So what I want to do is from the control panel here, I'm just going to run through a couple of cycles of start and stop and we're going to keep our eye on that discharge hose and see how quickly the uh, fire hose fills with water and with a, a certain amount of uh, violence or force that it does fill that line. And again, this is a three inch pump with a 15 horsepower motor, not, not a large amount of horsepower or a large amount of flow that we're talking about. And you see how much water hammer or, or uh, shock that we can put into the system here. So we'll run through a couple of cycles. Again, if you're in a situation where you're pumping water uh, up a high hill or in a high head application, uh, probably been in a pump station where you're pushing the water up the hill, you shut the pump off, the water starts rushing back to the pump station, check valves start slamming, header piping starts moving around, and again, this is only a 15 horsepower application that we're looking at right here. So there's no control with an across line starter, it's full on, full off. Uh, you take what you get and sometimes that causes a lot of uh, issues with header piping and check valve slamming and things of that nature. So what we'll do now is I'll switch over to the uh, soft starter or the reduced voltage solid state starter in the middle here and this one now allows us to have some ramp time on the start and on the stop and uh, we'll do the same 